the light has finally came to Nickelodeon as Seema Harami or something has finally stepped down after all those years since 2006 destroying people's Nickelodeon videos one by one. So guys, if you haven't heard about me, she is on June 4th, she announced she'd be stepping down from Nickelodeon. And that is a good thing because these Sayo sitcoms for 14 years savaging Nickelodeon. Now my brother is kind of a fan of Drake and Josh, but shows like iCarly, Victorious, Sam and Cat, Henry Asher, the Thunderwinds, Game Shakers, those shows have got to go. Literally all the shows are going, are going, except Henry Danger. And I hope the new president of Nickelodeon annihilates that show, because Game Shakers is coming to an end. The Thundermans has already come to an end this, this May, and all those other shows. Drake and Josh got canceled in 2007. iCarly got canceled in 2012. Victorious got canceled in 2013. And Sam and Cat got canceled in 2014. And now Nickelodeon is not giving up on Henry Danger, and they should... And they probably already should, because Zima Harmony is finally gone. Now, guys. We all know what happened to Nickelodeon in 2000. We all remember and don't want to remember Dan Schneider, who recently left Nickelodeon in 2000. This year, actually. He got annihilated in March. Now, the light for Nickelodeon is finally here, guys. Uh, and I hope, and here's a message to the new president of Nickelodeon, no more sitcoms. I am sick of it. I'm over. I'll, and like 2013, I was like, why is Sam and Cat the show on? Why is up with sitcoms? And then in 2016, I was like, when School of Rock came out, it already got canceled. I was like, you know what? I'm over it. Please cancel all these sitcoms. And I had to deal with it two more years until on June 10th when I heard that this president had just finally left. Now, I've known who she is for almost years. Like two years ago, I was like, see you, man, Harmony. Please. What are you doing to Nicole? Like, we all remember Stuart Snyder. People thought the light would be on Cartoon Network when Christina Miller decided to take over. Now, let's not hope. Now, Nickelodeon has kind of has variety in their schedule, and hopefully the next president should because Nickelodeon is actually kind of smarter than Cartoon Network besides this person who decided to take it all away from them. Now... Let's, guys, but I don't care about well, how many times it airs Spongebob and all that, because I'm not really a fan of, I usually watch Nicktoons, and she would go Nicktoons and put a lot of Spongebob, but let's just hope there's no more sitcoms, guys, and that is a good thing. So you guys are like, yeah, so what's your reaction to her leaving Nickelodeon? Are you excited? Are you sad? I'm kind of excited because I I hate the live action shows on Nickelodeon since 2004. Even though I wasn't born in 2004, I'm 12 years old. My birthday is February 23rd, 2006. Just and let's hope this president, the next president of Nickelodeon, can be way better than this president we are currently having. Now here's a bit corn dog. Come over here a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the president that got that stepped down from Nickelodeon, and the next president might get rid of those psychoms. <gasps> cool. No more live action shows, wit. Oh, and the next president, which will probably get annihilate Henry Danger. Uh, I would stay and stick around for the video, but I gotta go find Abby because she stole my blanket. So. Like, remember that Nickelodeon? That now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip whip. Watch me nay me. Every when I first saw that song three years ago, I was like, I was like, I just cringed to death. I was like, how about this? Now watch me whip. Now watch me be quiet. Shut up. Now watch me whip 
Well, I'm being annoying. Now, boom, watch me, watch me, boom, watch me shut up. I'm being annoying. Why don't you shut up? Being annoying. How about you shut up? You're being annoying. Why won't you shut up? You're being annoying. Can you please shut up? Can you please shut up? Now watch me whip. Now watch me shut up. How about that? Shut up. When I heard that song, it just made me cringe to death. But that song's not aired since 2015. And that... And... She was the one responsible for all of that. And no more. Because I, I will probably watch Nickelodeon more now since there won't be any psycho. Like, guys, we all know it's happening that the adventures of Kid Danger. Yes, that show is bad. But it's kind of a cartoon, and that's a good thing. And the next president, well, I don't care if they get rid of the adventures of Kid Danger. Because, I mean, I hate that show. It's part of, it's one of the relations to Henry Danger. But as long as you really like the, the real Henry Danger, that'll make me happy. Be happy. It'll make me very happy. Also, please, President, the next president of Nickelodeon, no more Psycoms. Psycoms. I still don't think Psycoms. Correct me in the comments, guys. So, so are you. I am very excited for the next president, so no. So she'll probably have no more live action shows, just cartoons. Like, back in the 70s, it was all about cartoons. And the classics for Cartoon Network took over, and we all know what's happening to Cartoon Network right now. Teen Titans, and we have not had a good president since 2007. Live action shows, Teen Titans Go. Live action shows, Teen Titans Go. It's all coming back to you. And I'm glad that's not on Boomerang. None of it's on Boomerang. Teen Titans Go was on Boomerang. But last year on April, they removed Gumball and Teen Titans Go. Um, I only want classic shows on Boomerang. I like Steven Universe. I love it a lot. But they it belong, They should air more on Cartoon Network, not on Boomerang. And they sh I, I'll give Adventure Time a chance because this is my favorite show and it is ending soon. And Mighty Magiswords on Boomerang. It just made me wonder very much. And I was just like, whoa! Why is this on Boomerang? Yes, Cartoon Network. But back when I was born, I, I didn't really care for Cartoon Network. I mean, I watched it, but back in my, when I was like four until... I was, so I was like seven years old when I was a baby until seven years old. Uh, Nickelodeon was the place I would watch. SpongeBob. I Carly didn't really air that much back in the day because I already got. Nickelodeon was the channel until the fun salmon cat came in and just Ariana Grande. I do not like Ariana Grande. I hate Ariana Grande because she hates Americans. And obviously. Now, guys, I didn't. She voted for Hillary. I don't really care for Trump or Hillary. I liked Gary Johnson, though Trump was elected, so. Hopefully, the next president of Nickelodeon is going to be a lot better. And let's hope it is, guys. Because. And also, guys, I want to discuss you something about the Viacom, the videos. Like, if you post, like, one, and if you're, like, permission to Viacom, she just copyrights it. That is not a fair rule. We deserve the freedom, and so should she. So even though evil is in her eyes right now. And the re I bet the reason why she stepped down, I, I don't even think she got stepped down. I think she just got fired. And, because that's what happened to Stuart Snyder. He got fired. And I really hope Christina Miller gets fired. Because I really want Jim Samples to come back. Because I love Jim Samples. Though Out of Jimmy's Head was... Okay movie, yeah. I, I, I kind of like the live action movies on the Christian Network. But I did not like the shows. I did not like the spin-offs. And guys...
And I'm glad School of Rock is over. And I'm glad that the Thundermans is <coughs> over. And I'm glad that I Carly and Victorious and Drake and Josh is it's an okay show, but it ended when I was like a year old. And those shows are gone. And hopefully the next president should annihilate Henry Danger. Henry Danger. And have I talked about Christina Miller bringing the boomerang app shows to the rain channel? Wacky Races is okay, but I hate Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Though the next president of Nickelodeon should be okay. And let's and let's pray. I'm gonna pray right now, dear Lord. Dear Christ, I pray. Please, please, please make the next president be an okay president for Nickelodeon, and make sure she annihilates Henry Danger. So this should be an okay, sh yeah. like, if the next president of Nickelodeon is good, because we all know what happened to Cartoon Network's president, if the next president isn't good, I'm going to be just very disappointed, and I'm going to have to deal with her for the next 30 years, hopefully. And I am, I am worried, guys, but I prayed, and let's hope the next president is okay. So, guys, as long as she and I like Tenery Danger and there's no more live action shows, I am okay with it, guys. So, mm, guys, you know, I guess I'll see you later, guys. So, bye. And a note before I leave, guys. Let's all hope that the next president of Nickelodeon is not cringeworthy. So, bye.